case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Over three decades ago, a legal quagmire emerged in the heartland of Iowa that would become the 1990 Supreme Court case, Gardner v. Gardner. At the heart of the dispute lay a patch of Pottawatomie County farmland and the interplay of siblings Mark, James, and Harry Gardner. The saga began when the Gardner brothers, Mark and James, signed over their interest in the farmland to their brother Harry as collateral for a loan that ultimately fell through. When the loan did not materialize, the brothers asked for their interests back, which Harry flatly refused. Bringing their grievance to the local court, their assertion was initially rebuffed. The court rejected any evidence of an oral arrangement to return the interests, citing the statute of frauds which requires such contracts to be in writing to be enforceable. Complicating this matter further was the settlement of their father's estate, which significantly endowed Harry with a life estate in most of the real estate which, due to Harry's lack of issue, propelled the case into the purview of higher courts. On appeal, the Supreme Court considered whether or not the statute of frauds nullified the brothers' oral agreement. They determined the restriction was circumvented by the brothers' partial performance, where they conveyed their land interests as collateral. The court also allowed the admission of parole evidence to establish the presence of an agreement over real estate interest. The Supreme Court concluded that there was sufficient evidence to allow a trial fact finder to probe the existence of the disputed oral agreement. They further ruled that any superior interests that a bank might have acquired would not supersede the brother's claim if established at trial. Upon deliberation, the case was promptly reversed and remanded for a new trial, thus providing a glimmer of hope for the beleaguered Gardner brothers. Their struggle against the legal thicket of inheritance, loan agreements, and family disputes serves as a lesson in the unfolding application of the statute of frauds. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 